Welcome, welcome to the Ice Turner experience. It's something you can't define, yet and still, <laughs> even to this day, which you can only experience with me. Now, uh, segueing to uh, part two of uh, what do women mean when they say that uh, you are difficult to love? Well, that only uh, derives from, uh, you know, needing companionship versus wanting companionship. And um, most guys don't know the difference. But yet and still interact with females from a uh, need standpoint, but pose it as a want, you know? I guess it's a strategy. Um, and if it weren't so, then why do they get butthurt or confused when uh, situations don't uh, play out in their favor? But they uh, have the nerve to say it's uh, her loss when they're the ones that really feel like they're uh, missing out and she's on to the next one or to the next thrill. Yeah. See, it's hard to flake out or ghost on or disappear from a man that is indifferent towards a company and uh, what uh, she has to offer or willing to offer. Yeah. You're only difficult to love when she can't understand why you don't need to be around her or she doesn't need to be around you for anything. Yeah. See, a need is based out of uh, deficiency and borderline desperation for either some type of validation or acceptance of some sort. See, you have to look at it this way. You know, when you need someone or you need something from someone, you have a tendency to hold back uh, on what you would like to express or like to do, you know? See, at that point, it's not about uh, having options, it's about uh, remembering what's really most important, you know, your self-dignity or, um, you know, your deficiencies. Now, when you're exercising your dignity through your presence, your conversation, your vibration, energy and actions, yes, you'll become uh, difficult to manage within a uh, feeble worldview that is uh, constantly working interchangeably while you're not. Only the members if need be. Or no one. And you can just free up uh, more uh, space and time to yourself uh, burden free. See, love, they say it's a beautiful thing. I believe when it's unconditional, but uh, we're humans and we love based on conditions. So we should just scratch that out. Uh, what you should uh, be concerned about, what's really important to you as a man is for the woman that you're uh, dealing with or a woman is dealing with you to understand you and understand where you're coming from. You know, she has to feel, you know, who you are and feel where you're coming from. That's important. I'd rather a woman tell me that she uh, understands me versus uh, she loves me, you know? Because uh, respect is uh, sufficient enough. So on that angle, when you're uh, someone that is uh, exercising, you know, their uh, autonomy in that uh, fashion, yes, you will be difficult to love because, you know, you don't want that love anyway. It's selfish. You know, that love is based on control. It's control posing as love. It's uh, over-concern posing as affection and attention. Do you get it? Yeah, as I said before, it has many colors. And uh, you need to know the difference.
between uh, a need and a want and um, know the temper of your season. Because if you need to be with a woman, then um, you shouldn't be there. Because then you'll be under the thumb and you won't be difficult to love because you'll be easily to be uh, manipulated and uh, coerced and brought into uh, a world of uh, ultimatums and uh, dangling carrots. But uh, when you're difficult to love, it's because you are in your elements and you're not accepting uh, any type of treatment um, that doesn't reflect that or doesn't foster the same care that you have for yourself. This is what headship is. Headship is difficult to deal with. But, you know, she has a choice as well. She can leave. See, when you're difficult to love, it almost feels like every time they speak to you, it's, it could be the last time. It's a, it's a job at the end of the day. You know, my mother told me that's what relationships are, it's a job. And uh, indeed it is, and guess what? You're the boss, you know, you hire and fire. And if the, uh, the activities uh, don't match up with the uh, resume and the uh, presentation in the interview. Guess what you can do? <laughs> That's what it's about. You know, my brethren, when you're difficult to love, it's because you're solid in who you are. You are true in your element and you're not budging, folding, or bending. Because when you say something, you project something. At the end of the day, the only choice she has is to accept, to accept it or not accept it. See, that's when you're difficult to love because you provide a choice. Uh, when you're not difficult to love, you don't provide a choice. You're basically are. Um, being led <laughs> and fed the uh, fruit of deceit. Yeah. See, the guy that allows the woman to basically get in front of him um, only ends up with the result of her showing him her ass. Yeah, that's when you're not difficult to love, you know? See, a man is a uh, facilitator and he is the conductor of the emotions, you know? You create the emotions, you create how you want her to feel. You create how you want her to think. She's receptive. It's not the other way around, you know? See, when you're not difficult to love, that means you're being emotional. She's got you emotional. It's not the other way around. In fact, you really shouldn't be moved by uh, emotions at all. And I'm not saying, you know, to not have any emotions. You can have emotions, but uh, you know, it's emotional transparency. Uh, at best keep that at, at a minimum, you know. Those feelings should only be shared if they're expressed the same, you know. An identical uh, form, shape, and color. Women are to be enjoyed at the end of the day, even, you know, with the... Uh